Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now, in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about how the Arsenal players have been getting on in the World Cup so far. Now, I'm going to start off with England. I'm going to start off with Bakayo Saka. Now, whenever I talk about him, I'm always so happy and he's been really good so far. Against the Rennes, he scored two goals, got man of the match, and he was just such a joy to watch. He was having so much fun out there on the pitch and... Yeah, he started off brilliantly. I know against USA he had more of a quiet game, but I, I think that it's nothing to worry about for me because um, you are playing every few games and obviously we play Wales um, on Tuesday. So yeah, I think he's been amazing this tournament and I've got to just talk about his mentality because for me, like, he has been amazing. Like, his mentality, he's so strong. You know, in the Euros, he could have, you know, let that define him, but he really hasn't. He's came back so much stronger. And, like, with Arsenal, he always takes the penalties and he's never missed since. So it just shows you what an inspiration Mikhail is and his mentality is just really an inspiration. And I think he's been a really bright star of the team in this tournament, probably in one of England's most exciting players to watch. So I've got all but love for Mikhail. Now, the next player I'll be discussing will be Matt Turn. Now, he has only conceded one goal in this tournament so far, which was against Wales. And Matt had a fantastic game, as we all know. Um, against England, he was really good. Um, he just showed the amazing qualities he has as a goalkeeper, I personally thought. He was full of confidence. Um, he collected the ball really comfortably, like when he needed to. Um, I thought that his distribution was excellent. You know, he knew where to pass to at the right time. And I thought that really showed how good he is. And yeah, his distribution was really impressive and accurate. I thought he really delivered the ball to the players at the right time. He never made any mistakes out from the back. Um, I did want to discuss about his great save from Mason Mount. I mean, England didn't have so many shots in that game. We had a few chances. We weren't at our best. But I do have to say, the chances we had, um, Matt really made an excellent save against them. And I think that he's had a really good tournament so far and he should definitely be so happy with himself. And I'm going to be talking about Gabriel Martinelli and Gabriel Jesus. But I'm going to start off with Martinelli first. Now, he made his World Cup debut for Brazil in a 2-1 win against Iberia. Now, that is incredible and such an amazing achievement for Gabri. I'm so delighted for him. and It was definitely a memorable moment for him that he really deserved. He came on in the second half in the 87th minute. And, you know, we all know Gabriel has been fantastic for Arsenal. But I think for his country, he's just being brilliant. And he's doing us all proud. And I'm really excited to see more of him in the World Cup. Now, Gabriel Jesus also featured in the Brazil's 2-1 win against Iberia. Um, Jesus came on the field in the 79th minute. Um, and yeah, they both got on the field, which is good. They both got minutes and hopefully we will see more of them throughout the World Cup. Now, I'm going to be talking about the Arsenal midfielders, Thomas Partey and Gwyneth Xhaka. So, I'll start off with Partey. Now, his first game of the World Cup with Ghana was actually against Portugal. And that match was an absolute thriller. It was so exciting. Um, they ended in a defeat, which was a 3-2 defeat. And Partey is a very important player for Ghana. Now... Just like Arsenal, he's like the glue that sticks the team together. He's the exact same for Gartner. And he's the assistant captain of the team. And yeah, he has so many leadership qualities, Partey does. And he kind of guides people on the pitch about where they should be in the right position at the right time. He looks very like vocal and he has a few leadership qualities. So I think he has been really good for Gartner. Um, shame they didn't manage to win, but I know... Despite that, he is a really important player and he does play a good role in the team. Now, I'm going to be talking about Granit Xhaka now. He captained Switzerland for the first World Cup game against Cameroon, which they won 1-0. Xhaka was involved in Switzerland's build-up play and he did create some incisive passes that put them into great attacking positions. So he has been a very, very important player. Now, Tommy Asu appeared in their 2-1 win against Germany and that win was terrific. I don't think many would have expected that to happen. 
but yeah it was amazing for them of course and yeah he was really good when he came on I thought I thought he made a big impact but I know it's really unfortunate because he's injured and it sucks because he's such a great player and he just get injured a lot and it's a massive shame a massive blow for Japan um and for Arsenal I hope that he can come back in good hands so he's not injured Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and please smash the like button, subscribe and I'll see you all very soon.